What is up? I'm Stacy. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing swell. Hope you're doing pretty fantastic. Real quick, I got a Facebook like page. Link is down below. Go like it. Please, please, like really, please, please go like it. It's, I have, I'm, I, I'm trying to hit a goal this month. There's things on my Facebook page that you're probably not gonna see anywhere else, so you should go and like it. Today, I have a question. Hi Stacey, I'm in a dilemma. It's about a girl I met like three months ago. We have a lot of common work together and now are roommates. When we share a bed, she gets really close and almost like hugs me, touches my arm, shoulder like in a soft and smooth way. The thing is that I'm starting to feel things, but I don't know if she likes me because she has a boyfriend and she's very flirty with everyone and she's not gay. First thing here is you don't know if she is not gay. You don't know 100%. She probably don't even know 100% if she's gay or not. Hence, the fact that she's all canoodly canoodly and flirting with everybody, you just never know. Maybe she's in that stage of figuring it out. Maybe she really is just flirting and loves to flirt up a storm with everybody that she meet. Or no. Hopefully that's not the case, but it happens. It does happen where, you know, the LGBT community tends to fall for the straighties. But we can't help it because we're humans and we feel things and ETC. But trust me. I don't know, I don't know what I wanted you to trust me with. Listen, if your dilemma is that you don't want to catch feelings for this person because they have a boyfriend, because they're flirting with everybody else and they're flirting with you, and then that you don't want to get your heart broken, the smart thing would be to not sleep together. If you don't want to get your heart broken or you don't want to catch more feelings, I don't know how that's going to happen when you live in the same area unless you completely segregate yourself and you don't ever really talk to this person. Or you meet somebody else or you start realizing that, hey, this girl has a boyfriend and she's doing these kinds of thingies with me that it's making me blah. Ask yourself, do you want to be with her or do you want to just be on the ride with it? I wouldn't suggest that because she has a boyfriend and that ain't cool. It's not good to be the cheater or be the cheated with or whatever. The, just don't cheat. But there's only one way to find out. One, asking. But people would not recommend that because they probably feel really stupid if that person says, no, we're just friends. I just see it as a friend. I have a boyfriend. I'm not gay. Two, you stop doing all that canoodly noodly and you avoid catching more feelings. Or three, you just ask, like, are you gay? <laughs> I'm kidding, don't ask that one. Maybe she's just a cuddly person. Maybe she's just somebody that likes to cuddle with anybody or with her friends and stuff. I don't know, you really, that's like something that you kind of have to figure it out on your own because I don't know the girl. If you don't want to catch feelings for this girl, you're going to have to do this. Stop cuddling with her, stop canoodling. And I know it's gonna be kind of hard because you work together, you guys live together, you guys are this and that. But if you wanna keep her as a friend, then you kind of have to like pull those two apart. Cause you know those instances when you are friends and you somebody, one of them likes each other and they tell them and then it's kind of just like, oh, that's really awkward. You don't want that to happen to you. But my advice would be if you don't wanna catch feelings for her, you don't wanna get your heart broken and you feel like she's really gonna do that and you have like certainty that she will, then start distancing yourself from hearts, like the heart. Not in the friendship kind of way, but in the like, I want to be more than friends with the kind of way because it will affect you. Well, there are a lot of people out there that are very flirty. And so it's kind of hard to tell whether like they're really actually flirting because they want to take it to another level or this and that. So in the end, it's your decision. If you want to stay friends and roomies, stay friends and roomies. If you want to try and take it to another level, just be aware of the consequences that could possibly happen, the cons and the pros of that. Now, some people can really just start to realize and really start to accept and admit to the fact that things ain't gonna happen. So kind of like dim it down and then they start realizing these things and coming to terms with it nothing's gonna happen so being the same it is not gonna affect it you gotta ask yourself the question what is that you want what is that you don't want and figure it out i know i feel like it wasn't really much of help on this because i didn't really know too much of it i don't really know what you want from it i don't really really know what you're asking of it but those are just my two cents Sometimes we're gonna meet flirty ass people in this world and sometimes we're gonna catch feelings for them and sometimes we're not gonna know what the hell to do with it. But just know that they all have a place in your story. Right now she's just part of this chapter. I don't know, you'll have to see what unravels out of it. If this girl was single, I would just say, you know, just enjoy, just have fun and those sweet little feelings. And I'm not talking about going and do the X-rated canoodle kind of stuff. I'm just talking about like, you know, just enjoy the feelings, the cute little feelings, the sweet feelings. But she has a boyfriend. Just remember, if somebody is cheating with you, who's to say that they're not going to cheat on you? Hmm? Hmm? So, 
Think about it. Be careful when you get into these things. I don't condone cheating, so I'm not gonna say, yeah, go do it, go enjoy yourself and stuff. I'm not, I don't do that, I don't condone it. If people like to do it, hey, they like to do it, that's their thing. For you, just be careful. Who's to say that she wouldn't do the same thing to you if you two were to get into a relationship? Think about it. Hope you guys are all enjoying your week, your weekend, your month, your year, wherever, at what point you're watching this video. And I thank you guys so much for staying here, sticking around. Keep watching my videos and stuff. Don't forget, subscribe, please, and thank you. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media because it's fun to keep up with Stacy. I'll see you guys next time. There's a link down below to my last vlog. Watch it. Enjoy it. Have fun. Alright. I'ma treat you girl, I'ma go have them pick you up and drop you off at my place.